Hey there, welcome to Wildly Domestic. This week's herb of the week is Slippery Elm. Uh, I have some uh, lozenges here. There we go. Uh, I hope there wasn't too much glare on that. I saw uh, that caught the light a little bit. But um, Slippery Elm is a great overall soother. Um, it helps to reduce inflammation in smooth muscle tissue, which is the um, the type of um, muscle tissue that your internal organs are made of, like your intestines and all that. Uh, and it also helps increase uh, mucous membrane secretions, which helps kind of, which also acts as a sort of um, uh, soothing kind of uh, emol inner, inner emollient effect, kind of helping things to, to move through and move along. So um, because of those things, uh, slippery elm is excellent, excellent, excellent for uh, digestive health. Basically, anything you could think of that has to do with the GI tract from top to bottom, slippery elm is great for it. It's good for um, dental health, uh, ulcers, gastritis, um, IBS, colitis, diverticulitis, um, hemorrhoids even. Uh, so basically, if, if, if you have an issue in your digestive tract, it's a good bet that slippery elm will, will help uh, quiet that and soothe that, especially if it's some sort of uh, irritation or inflammation related issue. Uh, slippery elm is also excellent for uh, lungs. Uh, as I don't know if you could hear, but uh, I, did, uh, I did end up catching my boyfriend's uh, cold, so uh, it's uh, just about knocked out, and thankfully it wasn't nearly as bad on me as it was on him. But um, <clears throat> that's the reason why I got the lozenges in the first place, because slippery elm, um, mostly it's used for sore throat lozenges because it does have that kind of uh, natural coating effect, but... Um, it's actually much more useful for your respiratory system, particularly your lungs. It's great for lung health. Um, you see it used for bronchitis, uh, um, coughs, anything like that, because it because it does have that soothing effect for the mucous membranes and and um, so it helps kind of get any sort of phlegm out. It's an expectorant, so it helps uh, anything that's uh, in your lungs, kind of blocking your airways. It's useful for getting that out. So, as far as you know, mucus and whatnot. <clears throat> but um, it's uh, it's also really helpful for um, your reproductive system. Um, it's good for helping to combat um, particular STDs. Um, it's also helpful for, uh, for women if if you have like erratic periods. It can help bring on your period. Um, it's also good for um, urinary tract infections because again, um, like with the bladder, it's another type of smooth muscle, and this is just this particular herb really just kind of helps relax the smooth muscle tissues and and helps them to uh, helps them to heal. Um, the slippery elm, the only part of it that's used is the bark, uh, the inner bark specifically. So it's like you have that rough outer bark, and when you peel that away, uh, there's a, a layer of inner bark before you actually get to the core of the heartwood. Um, so that's what's used. It's usually uh, used for teas or powders. But interestingly enough, you can actually um, kind of make a like a um, porridge type consistency, like dish out of it, and it's actually as nutritious as oatmeal, as far as uh, fiber content and uh, vitamin and mineral content. So that was something I did not know. So you can always, instead of having your a morning bowl of oatmeal, you can have a morning bowl of slippery elm. But um, Anyway, uh, that I think that about covers our herb of the week, Slippery Elm. Thank you so much for watching, and you enjoy the rest of your day.